information gathering within disciple making movements. Module 6 Tracking Tools Principle 6 Ministry leaders provide coaches and shepherds with tools that record needs and outcomes of their faith and work. At the grassroots of an expanding movement, coaches listen to church planters and shepherds report on their own work, then help them to draw a generational map, showing their mother church, its daughters and its granddaughters. When coaches meet with church planters or with shepherds of new churches, they help them draw a simple map of their churches and cells. Together they draw circles on paper. Each circle represents a congregation or a cell group. They connect the circles with lines, showing mother churches, with their daughter churches and granddaughter churches. Above each circle, write the name of the place where the church or cell meets, and write the month or year in which the church or cell began to meet. Beside each circle, write how many generations it is from its mother church or cell, one, two, three or more. Beneath each circle, draw symbols showing the kinds of activities that every church or cell is taught to practice. Activity 6 Form small groups of workers, and have them reply to this query. What very simple symbols could represent the commandments of Jesus that you teach to every new cell group or church? Have each group leader draw on a board or chart the symbols that their group members have chosen. Some disciple-making, church-planting ministries employ symbols like these. Bible discovery. Pray. Lord's Table. Gather often. Share the good news. Baptize. Give freely. A coach asks each church planter or shepherd, to draw a circle around each symbol that represents an activity that a church or cell has begun to practice regularly. They draw a line through an activity that a church or cell has stopped practicing. When a shepherd has been appointed in a church or cell, they draw a stick man beside a circle, and write the shepherd's name near the stick man. Inside each circle, write numbers that show how many persons are in the church or cell. A. Adult attenders. B. Baptized believers. C. Children and youth. D. Died or departed. A complete church or cell drawing might look like this. Afterwards, a coach will transfer all this information to a report form, and later it will be entered into a computer. Following a coaching session with a church planter or a local worker, a coach fills in a church and cell activity report form. He writes, Place name or code. And a shepherd's name. He ticks a box if the shepherd has been enrolled in a pastoral training course by extension. He writes the year when the church started. He writes a number showing the generation of this church or cell. He writes a number under each activity. 1 equals started. 2 equals irregular, 3 equals regular, 4 equals stopped. He writes in the current numbers of adult attenders, baptized believers, children and adults, and deceased or departed attenders.
coaches keep a checklist of essential, scriptural steps to planting a new church or cell. These may include the following. The coach's name. A trainee church planter's name. The place name or code. The starting date. The coach ticks a box beside a step that has been reached, then fills in the date, or numbers. Prayer walks have been completed. A team has been sent to a place. Households have been entered. Good news has been announced. Adults have been baptized. Disciples have been made. Lessons to strengthen faith have been taught. A local leader has been found. A local leader is enrolled for coaching. One or more elders have been appointed. A commendation service has been held. This report has been submitted. When introducing new forms to workers, hold a workshop, in which everyone learns both how to fill in the form, and how to use its information in their own work. Such forms may be printed on paper and filled in with a pen, or they may appear online to be filled with an electronic device. Coaches submit these forms to a regional ministry office, where a secretary transfers the information to a computer database or spreadsheet program. The secretary also generates tabular summaries and charts from the database. Conclusion 6 the information that church planters and shepherds draw on their maps serves to supply reports to every level of a ministry and to its partners.